folks. Uh, welcome to another installment of Quest for Thunder. Uh, we're here at a, um, I guess it's a brokerage open house is really what it is. Uh, Little Yachts of Kima, Texas is having an open house today. And this is just another way for people to come and see boats. Uh, you know, when you're in a quest for a boat, you look for a boat, there's all the different um, avenues that you want to use to find one. This is a very good um, uh, avenue and that you can uh, see a lot of boats in one place. They've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 50, maybe even 60 boats. Some of them are power uh, available for you to view. Um, of course, the added benefit is that you could probably get lunch too. I mean, when we got here at 12 o'clock, there was pizza, beer, soda, water. So um, it's a it's a good way uh, to come down and see a whole lot of boats in a various in various price ranges in various uh, years, uh, you know, various age. Uh, we've seen brand new boats uh, today already, and you know, all the way down to like 1969. So um, there's a variety of boats to be seen, and it's a good way to. Uh, find your boat. So look for uh, brokerage open houses in your area. Uh, those are a really good way to see a lot of boats, see them all in one, one place, don't have to travel all around, and uh, you might get the benefit of having some lunch. Well, hi Jean. Hi Mark. <laughs> so what are we doing here? Yeah, we're standing on the bow of a Hunter 36. What? what how much is it? Uh, it's 90 something. Like Under 100. Under 100? 98.9. And it's a 2000, I believe, right? A year? Uh, 2000? It's a 2004. Oh, 2004. Fairly new. Fairly. Mm -hmm. So let's see, it's got in mast furling. It's got roller furling here. It's a furlex. Roller furling. Chain locker. Electric windlass. The buttons. Nice uh, catch roof that comes all the way forward. Big catch, big opening catch right there. It's covered. Skylights. Lights, another hatch. So we come back to this like, cockpit. There's the boom thing. The boom is well above and out of the way, and the track is back there on top of the bimini. So this is 98,000, 2004. It looks like it's in fairly good condition. The decks look like they're in good condition. The non scale is in good condition. What do you think, Gene? Seems nice so far. We're going to go inside in a minute. It's a little crowded in there right now, though. So, so what, are we, what, are we at? what are we doing here? What's this cover? This is the boat open house at Little Yachts mm -hmm. here in. Clear Lake Shores, Kima, Kima area, yeah, Texas, yeah. on a cloudy, was, rainy day. Yes, it was raining really hard for a while. It looks like it let up a little, but that's nice. All right, so here we are inside the Hunter 36. Uh, there's the settee area there, um, just forward of the of the uh, galley sink and galley, and galley. It's a very big uh, counter, a lot of counter space here. Very large counter and two burner gimbaled stove with an oven. And here's a, uh, a stand up front loading reefer. And there's the navigate. Here's the other side of the settee. Main table there, very nice. Nicely appointed, lots of light, lots of, lots of natural light in here. And then there's the, there we have the uh, <clears throat> electronics, the breakers, etc., and some uh, instrumentation here, chart table, lifting chart table, lots of storage underneath. Head and I think Corian counters throughout this thing, which is very nice. Separate. Well, there's the, there's the marine <coughs> marine toilet, and of course 
uh, combination marine toilet and shower. Nice little, nice little door here to close off the rest of the head from the shower when you're using it as a shower. And we're gonna check out the aft cabin. Oh, huh. this is a very interesting design. It's got a. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this kind of dark in here. It's got this backrest here makes into like a seat if you're not sleeping you can use it as a seat and sit so there's sit up room here there's headroom right as you walk in the door I'm just five nine so a, I don't know I got about six or seven inches I think you said you're five eight uh -huh. you growing very funny anyway um, and then of course it lays down in there so it looks like it might be a full size or even a queen size bed berth and then there's some extra side space over there those two pillows are laying on it and then there's storage underneath underneath that and then there's another little section over there very nice layout a uh, nice opening hatch right there and then there's the another opening hatch here so there's a lot of light a lot of natural light mm. go forward to the v-berth of course, we have a V-berth up here, and it's way dark. You probably can well see in here because the lights are off. And here we are looking back from the V-berth back to the companionway. And this boat. <clears throat> well, here we have a Catalina. This is a 36-foot uh, Catalina Mark II. Um, I think the asking for this was how much? Uh, 97.5. 97 97.5. What year is it, Gene? Oh, I'm sorry. They want 65. 65. 65 for this. It's a, uh, it's a 90, 1995 Catalina 36-footer, right? 36-foot. It's got a roller furling. Sale. Very clean uh, deck. Very clean. Typical Catalina. Um, the boom track is just in front of the companionway. Some opening hatch there, another one there. Lots of nice side lights on this boat. So we're talking 65, Gene? Is that right? Yeah, Okay, I think we go on right here, honey. So we're going to go on board and look around. So here we go. Uh, we're going to go down below to look at this uh, Catalina. 1995 Catalina 36. This thing I need to do is fall. Corian? It's got Corian counters. Microwave. Those are very deep sinks. Extremely deep. Two deep sinks. There's a settee. It's a L-shaped settee. And then there's a small seat over here next to the nav table. Two little small seats here. And uh, there's the nav station. Electronics. Um, fold down table. Down table. And then there's a V berth up here. There's a, there's a head, marine toilet, and the sink. Sink shower combination, a little seat there for sitting when you're taking your, your, your shower opening hatch. That's an opening hatch too with a sun visor on it. Get out of the way here. There's Gene. Say hello to the viewers, Gene. Hello. Uh, here I have a V berth. Some hanging lockers. Thirty-six feet. Pretty good size. It's um, nice at the table. Yeah. Goes up. Gets out of the way. There's a, a stove. 
this one is a two burner stove. And here's the after cabin. Um, yep, yeah, step in headroom. And there's some seating, right, uh, like sit up space right here so you could sit up and prop your back. The leak is there coming out of the And of course, way back in there, very, very deep berth. About a, about a queen size, I would imagine. Looks like we have a bit of a leak. Looks like it might be coming in from one of those port lights. I mean, the rain here was really, really hard. I mean, it was driving hard. It rained for a couple of hours straight, but the, the, the rain was extremely hard. So, you know, if there's going to be a leak, you're going to find it. It's a storage or refrigerator. So, that's an ice box. Oh, there's two of them then. So we have an ice box here with no, no, in, no, no refrigeration, just an ice box. Mm -hmm. And this over here is the fridge. So... The fingers in the way. I'm oh, sorry about that, people. So here we have the fridge. And over here we have just an ice box. Yes. Also could be used for storage. If not insulated up on Well, you just put top. ice in there? Yeah, well, you know, it might not be an ice box. I don't know if there's a drain hole. I didn't really look. It may just be storage. Yeah, I don't see a drain hole in here anywhere, so it's probably just storage. Uh, hand goods and whatnot in there.